Orale. Como estas mi amigos? <sighs> I think we're gonna finish this goddamn game today. Uh, tonight. Hmm. Mm hmm. I think we got it because I've got a uh, I've got a rubble camp to do, and then some side missions we started but didn't finish because we couldn't fly. But now we can fly, so it's no problem. So I think as long as I don't lollygag. I'll finish the season. I'm here at the bulwark to do first to fly. Actually, I shouldn't be here at the bulwark. I completely forgot about the last rubble camp over here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. How close? That's pretty close. Looks like some rebels died fighting a machine. Hmm. There. A survivor ran off. Better see where their tracks lead. I mean, they definitely lead to this rebel outpost we're going to anyway. <laughs> Looks like the survivor headed for that ruin. Guess he didn't make it. I bet that's the machine that killed him. Oh, can't loot it. There's green shine here. Oh, they've closed the camp down. Guess they don't like visitors. Maybe there's another way in. Another way in. Hmm. Oh, I guess it didn't lead there. like how close can I get okay there's you there aren't many close to me like I'm just seeing these two oh there's one over there there's two lying down over there
gate controls. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a barrel. Can't quite shoot to that grapple point just yet. Hey, turn around. No? Okay. sharpshooter okay they're the most annoying of the rebel enemies isn't it yeah Time to find whoever's in charge. Figure out what's going on in this camp. Pathetic. I saw something shifting. Oh, Lord. up. Goodbye. Find 
are using this place to train their troops. We fight for the spirit of the Tanakh. Okay, he is facing this way. Lost until death. Someone will step up to lead us. Souls for prisoners. Hey, what's up? Who are you? Someone trying to help. Follow my lead, and we might get out of here alive. I guess I don't have a choice. No, you don't. We might make it out alive. Right, I can't fucking see them. A bunch of sparkers up here. Actually, oh my God, what is that? Handcraft decoration, significance unknown. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, you seem to be heading up to me. In that way. Hold on. Hmm. 
Are those? Hold on. No, but there's a pot over there that's gonna disable my focus if I let it. He's got it on him. Mm. I don't even want to make a sound yet. Like when I pick those up when I don't mean to. <sighs> it's especially bad in a stealth situation. I think there's only five of them left. Now, approaching this is going to be difficult. Okay. I think I know what I want to do. Let's see if whoever's in charge is around here. That looks important. Might be their command center. Oh, it's the prisoner.
is here. Damn, she died. Heads up! Quickly! There's a body. Go slowly. I cannot let this motherfucker find me. I have to take out that radar pack right now. Don't walk nowhere. Fuck, it didn't break. Hey, he's just staying right there. I can't believe it didn't break that off of him. Turn around. Let's send for someone to deal with the body. Got it. How did it still not break off? I'm so sick, you know. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know how you can see me. Did you kill him? Is he? Oh my god. Yep. have gold ingots on them hold on a sec yeah i'm sorry man but you got clowned on Return immediately to First Forge. Clearly, none of you are competent enough to deal with that blasted Nora. Mm. So we'll continue to work where she can't get to us. And in the unlikely event that she does, I'll have the pleasure of dealing with her personally. I wish you luck, Savior of Meridian. The Sarah has a base. If I can find it, I can put an end to the Sons of Prometheus. What else have they been up to around here? Judging by the look of this place, it's important to the loyalist to knock. But the rebels don't seem to like it much. A map. If I'm looking at this right, all roads leading into the jungle go through this village. Hmm. Capturing this place is good strategy on the rebels' part. But I think there's more to it than that. 
This village holds some special significance to the tribe. I think the rebels were sending a message when they decided to take it. That sounds like trouble. I better see what's going on. Thought I got them all. Oh my. I think it worked though. Red as the blight. I hmm? knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. You're Aloy, Hikaro's champion. It's me. My name's Gatak, leader of Fox Squad for the Lowland Clan. Your squad made quite the entrance. Lowlanders know how to use the element of surprise. My squad's been cutting this camp's supply lines for quite some time. But we knew assaulting its gates would be the only sure way to recover the village. Didn't think we'd get Hikaro's champion as backup, though. But we should be thanking you. Fenrise is a sacred place to my clan. Here we train for the trials that make us into full-fledged soldiers. And here we are marked as such when the trials are won. Hmm. It is where Hikaro himself became a soldier. So taking this place was a show of strength by the rebels. A failed one, thanks to you. We'll return it to its former glory and defend it from any rebels in the area. Sounds like you can take care of things from here then. I'll get going. I hope we meet again. Translation, she's gonna have a side quest for us to do later. Okay, I need to find Asara's hideout. First Forge. Maybe Aaron can help me figure out where she would set up camp. Isn't it like right over here? Oh, uh, back at the base? Okay, hold on. That that might force us into something. In fact, I'm almost positive it will. So, we're going to do this. Instead. This is the mountain we want to mark close up with the storm bird. Okay. Rika's armor should be around here somewhere.
A green shine slot. Don't mind if I do. This green shine will fetch a price. Maybe. No. A fragment of Farika's armor. There must be more. Oh fuck. I don't like the sound of that. Whoa. Yep. It must be the stormbird that killed Farika. Mm-hmm. Two plasma and acid. And now that I have like good plasma, who knows? That doesn't bring good damage. the machine my focus might see something hmm we haven't been on the other side That looks like a piece to me. Another armor fragment. Another Stormbird. <laughs> you imagine. Fresh snow. How did I miss this? Looks like another bit of armor. I guess that's it then. I should let the Tanakh know I recovered what's left of Farika's kit. I mean, I guess you could call that an errand. Big task, though. They're like at the bulwark, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
What up, y'all? Hey, I got a perch somewhere. I'm trying to land my sunwing, you know? Whatever, I'll just glide in. Hey, what's up? I'm ready. We saw you fly. Did you find Farika? I was able to retrieve her armor. What's left of it anyway? She didn't stand a chance against that stormbird. Ah, uh, <clears throat> I see. A painful end. But not without glory. So, what do you think? Was she the first to fly on the wings of the ten? She was brave. And spent a fair amount of time in the air. I'd say what she did qualifies. Mm. She flew. I knew it. The first to fly. As her successor, you should keep her armor. You can fix it up at the workbench. This way. Once you repair the armor, you're welcome to it. You take after Farika. Bold, brave, and a diplomatic liar. <laughs> she met a harsh fate. Let her have the title. Fair enough. It's kind of you to show such humility. That's that Elizabeth so bad. Only stay to hunt down the holdout. May your enemies fall while crafting outlander. May your enemies fall. May your enemies flame down honor your name. Once you repair Farika's armor, where would you? Here walks a outlander. Bane of her common trade. Not sky climber. Oh, what's it look like? Uh, not bad. It's okay. But that's not the Reaver, though. trying to find things to spend these points on. Alright. Uh, kinds of justice first. This is an error, not a side mission. Uh. If one now, I'm far enough away, I think. Oh, yeah, it'll let me do it. Mount cannot enter the oh, too close to the village. All right, we're gonna have to do it off this rock then. Can it snatch me out of the water? It absolutely can. That's sick. The sentry said the raft was heading west. 
On route to the ocean. Should be easy to find. No problem. Uh, it's probably... Oh, it's, it's a raft, not a... I don't know, I'm gonna... Head toward this. What are you? You gotta have some clues, right? On a raft and an ocean. Wreckage. On a raft. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after all. I'll only find out if I go down there. There's someone down on that rocky outcrop. It was a. You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach? Where are the others? Holed up on top of a tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. Hmm. I thought that they were true to not, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh, the Tide's Reach, think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. If you want justice, then find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Alright. So those fugitives are in a tower to the west. If they're close to landfall, they could be a threat to the Quen. I better take care of them. Oh, they over there. Okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna trigger any voice lines, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh yeah. It does make sense that I should fly up there. Hold on. I don't know. I think that's <laughs> crazy aggressive. I wonder if they'll try and shoot me down. They see me. Which tower, though? We're just going to keep raising up. Oh. There. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the raider. Oh, this is not it. Fugitives escape. There's definitely movement down there. Oops. Is it just these two? Okay, no. There's... Okay, that's the Raiders. And they are a threat.
Ah, uh, that's fine. What's up, Ditloa? Hello, Buffer Crow. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have to shoot this guy in his face. Damn, for real? That did shit. That's crazy. What's Nora doing here? Don't worry about it. Let me see that pretty face. Oh, long, long, long one. There we go. That's the last of them. Those raiders won't be attacking Tides Reach again, or anyone else. Hey, you got my name right? Oh, uh, do people like mess it up a lot? They call you like Butter Crow or something? <laughs> is my, my dude okay? Yeah. Yeah. I hear him, but I can't see him. Is he lower? Is that okay? He's down there. I think he's stuck. Oh no. Ooh, I don't know how to get to him. Um, maybe I can call him out. Butter crow, buffer cow, and sometimes the rare butter cow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he is stuck in there. I gotta. I just gotta get away. You know what they say about those Twitch streamers? They can't fucking read, you know. <laughs> That's what I hear anyway. Oh, I didn't get that fucking chest that was up there. That's fine. All right. In the world does somebody read butter cow? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I should be able to. No, I'm still too close. Oh yeah, I'm very close. I'm not even that far out. Here we go. I accidentally saw my Christmas gift before it was wrapped. What was it? What they get you? Machines. Better be careful. Oh, hello there. A mini fridge, let's go. Oh my god. Two of oh no. Hey bro, I don't like that. Can you stop? Can you stop? 
Can you stop? <laughs> Ouchie. Bombs. Die. Die. Thank you. Ouch. Oh, no ammo. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know why I'm trying to melee this thing. Oh my god. That didn't hurt. Okay, that one hurt. There we go. Easier. Give me a pots. Just gotta look for the coin's gyro compass on that rack. Crab. There's no compass here. The machines could have scavenged it out of the wreckage. We should check any scrap piles left around the island, just to be sure. Uh, I was like, oh, they must be giving this away. Uh, then I saw it wrapped in aluminum. I was like, I should. I wasn't even thinking about Christmas because it came too fast. Oh, yeah. I got no money because I was out of work for a while. So that's great. <laughs> Let's hope I can find the gyro compass in one of those scrap piles. You got here fast. Are they in the water? No? It was gosh. Ah, sick. Gemini finals. Tight. Huh. This thing took a beating. Not sure it still works. Better take it to Harry and Christia. Maybe they can fix it. Oh, okay. He just landed.
College and uni are tough sometimes. I'm also a dropout. <laughs> I thought there was a perch somewhere. Ah, there it is. the ancestors you're back is that i'm sorry it's broken our last hope no there has to be a way to fix it how we just need to replace the batteries and the sensor unit right because they're just lying around the jungle for us to find wait Wait, they totally are. Fleet. It might have what we need. What ancient fleet? When we abandoned our ship, we were washed ashore on a beach southwest of here. There were ships built by the ancestors there. Overseer Bohai will never let us go there. He won't risk losing any more navigators. He needs us to guide the fleet home. No one's going home without a working gyro compass. I can get them for you. You need to look for a sensor unit. They're usually on a ship's antenna. And batteries. Three of them. They're small, so they might be hard to find. I've got something for that. We put our faith in you once again, Ancestor. Mm. Buffer Crow, thanks for the follow. 24 years ex uh six years of management experience i mean that's not bad Ooh. oh it's back over here uh out the slaughter spine sites i don't think so Christia said I'd find ancient ships in this area. I should take a look. Is that an apex? It is. How do you something other than frost? Okay. Uh, all luck and I have found to thank for that. Without that, I'd probably still be kicking chicken. I mean, yeah, it's like, uh, I'll find any ancient ships in here. What, what's that old saying about, um, luck meeting preparedness or something like that? That's really, that's, that's what it is. Oh, wait, is that? Those ancient ships have got to be on here somewhere. Oh, whoop. I forgot we were looking for ships. Is that one? There. A sunken ship. Maybe it has what Harry and Christian need. It's the gyro compass. Oh, 
I get out that way? Okay. I don't know if I ever asked this. What's your dream job? Ah. Uh, hmm. I'm honestly not sure. Oh God! Hold on. God damn it. This is the USS Anchorage, hailing anyone who's left. The Medina, the Omaha, and the New Orleans are down, and the swarm just cracked the Harris open like an egg. Incoming! Hold on! The lead Horus is heavily damaged. If we can concentrate fire, maybe Damn. we can still take it down. I think we've got a ping on the Hamilton! Lost it! Sensors down! We're sailing blind! It sounds like their sensor unit was taken out. But they were trying to reach other ships. Guess I should find the batteries now. My focus should pick them up. Hmm. I don't have like, uh, like, like big aspirations for like, I don't know, like a place I want to work or a thing I want to do. I just want to be able to, uh, like experience the good things in life while doing whatever it is. Right. Just like, not being miserable, essentially. I'm just gonna have to go down there. I should use my focus to spot the parts Harry and Christine. Are. I think I have to do one more boring day before I get a fridge. I didn't ask for it, but I'm here before. As as a uh, as someone who also owns a mini fridge, they're pretty nice. My focus should help me see if there are any batteries lying around. Oh. There. Looks like some sort of power source. Must be a battery. These motherfuckers are lucky I can't fight them underwater.
The mine was commercial pilot. Fly three times a year, see stupid good scenery plus travel, and a great salary. That sounds good. In here? Could take a look inside that shipwreck. Yeah. See if there's any power sources there. Focus picked up coordinates from that transmission I found. If there's more shipwrecks there, one might have an intact sensor. All the way over here? Okay, that's fine. Get me out this water. So that ship has an antenna with a dreadwing perched on it. Um right. gonna have to deal with it before I can look for the sensor the Quen might. Okay. Oh, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh, no. Where's the Just the mines, dude? Got your ass. Oh my god, that's a, that's a lot. You just sitting there. What are you even weak to? Fire? Oh. He's going invisible. You think I can't see you? You're on fire. Cool. Ow. Oh, 
can we oh hey i'll chill out uh where can we get the Can we get the rock kill? It was a nice thought. Okay, I should be able to check out that antenna now. Ah, there's the other metal thing. Nice. <laughs> and him rightly. I wanted to kill him with the rock, though. <laughs> An intact sensor unit. This should be all that Harry and Christian need. It looks, looks like there's one more transmission in here. This is the Hamilton. Anchorage, your transmission has been received. Targeting the lead Horus. Just lost the starboard missile battery. Can't fire. We're empty. Damn it. Captain, there's nothing left to fire. Your orders. Set a course for the Horus chassis. Ramming speed. Damn. It's never a happy ending, is it? Nope. found what you need all right a hug thank you i'll get working on the gyro compass immediately i'm coming home meandra you've done us a great kindness aloy christia is not the only one with people waiting back home she'll be able to fix that gyro compass in no time we'll never be able to thank you enough but this should be a start if you need anything, tell Bohai to contact Alva. I'm sure she can help. May the ancestors steer us true. I can't believe we're actually going home. This wind's blowing strong. I gotta stay upright. Right. Right. Having a good day. Okay. Now, I believe. I have to cure the sickness. There we go. <sighs> now, the only thing left is the main. Uh, okay. Unless, wait. Oh yeah. I don't know if they're gonna force me into this. We'll see. I 
see you, champion. Sit, please. What information could you possibly have for me? There's someone in Arrowhand who's been looking for you, champion. Goes by the name of Moralo. Sounded like he had something important to discuss. Okay. I'll try to stop by Arrowhand when I can, then. Arrow hand. It's been a minute. Regalar is defeated. The Hikaru Regalar's rebellion has finally ended. My blade's not as quick as I'd like. Champion of the Grove. I want to reward you for what you did. Hmm? You said something about rewarding me? You don't have to. Regala had to be stopped. That battle was almost the end of me and my partner Sosek. During the fighting, I was surrounded by rebels just as I saw a machine about to strike him down. Then your bomb fell from the sky and he was saved. We all were. I can't properly repay you for what you did, but I can offer you something. You really don't need to. Honor is payment enough for any warrior, I know, but Greenshine will buy more blades. I discovered a cache of it inside a cave on a mountain to the southwest of here, right at the edge of the desert. It's guarded by machines, but if you can fly in and bomb them as you did in the battle, you can claim the Greenshine for yourself. Hmm. I might give it a try. Do you want me to bring some back to you? No, no. It's for you, all of it. The least I can give you for saving Sosek's life. I only wish I could be there to see you swoop from the sky and claim it. A cache of Greenshine could come in handy. It sounds like I'll have to fly up there. And a bomb from a Horus would make dealing with those machines a lot easier. Hmm. Getting the Horus cell is optional. But it is right nearby. I guess that's not too much of a, an issue. I'd like to use the Horus Hull again outside of uh, a main mission. the Horus. Time to pick up a bomb. Free green shine? Don't mind if I do. Machines. Must be the spot Morala told me about. This bomb should come in handy. Time to drop that bomb. Yep. Damn. Gotta finish off those machines and pick up that green shine. Oh, I've been spotted.
Hold on. Circling back around. Uh, oh, the suction. Oh. All right, that one's down. I got it. Now that the annoyances are gone. Damn, right in the mouth. Woo, that was a nice crit. What's up? Open up. Thank you. 
Got him. Stuff for the stash. There's the cash. I just need to get past those vines. Why does this feel too easy? Uh oh. <laughs> That's no good. It's not good that she said that. Stormbird? Thunderjaw. Slaughter Spine. Uh. Hold on. There's something in there. I bet it's a stalker. Well, I thought this was too easy. Oh, it's a Dreadwing. It's an Apex Dreadwing. Sick. This is exactly what I wanted to deal with. Alright, Brody. No rocks for you. You missed. Oh my god. Oh, that was a stealth generator, I think. Why did I get double flashed? Ah, oh, you missed. Wait, what are you weak to? I didn't even see. Plasma, of course. Not weak to acid anymore. Still gonna blow that sack up, though. Aiming right at it. Oh, damn it.
Okay, there it is. So close to death, yet so far. Hmm. Land. I'm gonna hit you in your legs. There we go. That's all the machines I have to deal with. Time for drawing back. I should pick up that green shine. I was nice of that Tanakh soldier to point me this way. I wasn't looking for thanks, but. I'll take it. I don't know. Was it nice of him to point us this way? I don't know about that. Got attacked by a whole Apex Dreadwing. I don't know. I don't know that it was right for him to point us this way. I don't. I don't think I would agree with that statement. Anywho. Nothing? She got nothing. Okay. I think it's forcing hey, uh, me in. Know it all is here. You know your focus, buddy. Who never smiles. Oh, I silence. With him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base, but she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. <laughs> Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look, that must be your little invention. Does the weapon work without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. 
Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh no, you first. <laughs> Can't trust him. Okay, so they are giving me a chance here. Control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. I was thinking we could spar for a bit. When you have the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. There might be a way to deal with my anger. Yeah, beating the crap out of me makes you feel better. I'm all for it. Hmm. Alva, what's up? You... you flew? Kotala told me. And took out Regala's machines? Oh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. She has an intimidating aura. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Yeah, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command too? Guess the more the merrier. Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? Oh yeah, that's right. She's here too. Seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. Is Silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. So. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. Mm. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Erend and I tried speaking to Silens, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? Hmm. 
How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here? I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. Damn, we don't even have a guy here to do like an analysis or anything. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now and always. With Regal out of the way, Ikaro and Tanakh, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. But if I've learned anything about them, that it's not a battle I am going to win. Well, you don't like the savior, the champion? She who flew on the wings of the ten? He seems happy with it. Probably because he could crush me like a grape with it. That is a happy thought. <laughs> Otalo. Oh. Oh, his arm. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. to knock your people keep mentioning the wings of the ten what exactly does it mean do explain Legends tell us that the ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky for us to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route and now you have done it like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie, pretty good. <laughs> I can only imagine. Bro, so I'm through the sky? Come on now. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. How is she able to create that flash of light? <laughs> Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Mm-hmm. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Even so, I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Katalo. He understands. It's all for the sake of the mission. I have to go. But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood.
There's Gwen stuff in here now. Must be all of us. I'm wondering, can I find Silence and Tilda in the, uh, in this basement? Ah, there there's Tilda. Are. Where's Silence at? Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure Silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Hmm. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but... Then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. Mm. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less. And I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me. Restoring Elizabeth's dream. It's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Sure. Land sakes. Are you and Elizabeth? Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant, visionary. She cared so deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think. In the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab after Farzinet's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. Hmm. You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths, that you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival, both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. I guess. What's in the Zenith base? When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location. 
dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space worthy when we made our escape. <laughs> wow. Disaster can strike at any moment. We've learned our lesson. Silence weapon. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields on mass. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Mm. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. And we're just going <laughs> to wipe them all out, except you, I guess. Yeah, the Zenus. Verbena, Gerard, the rest of them. Uh, what about Verbena? She's dead. Still up on that mountain, but what's up with her? When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths, Verbena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. <laughs> Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. Mm -hmm. Like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. Oh, she had stands? She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. What about Gerard? What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate and as such had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on earth and certainly the wealthiest among Far Zenith. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough, and the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. Oh, it's going to be so good. Sorry. Eric, what about that big guy? Was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I believe he got worse over time. Damn. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. Of course. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. Us. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, mm -hmm. all for the thrill of it. Uh. But on Sirius, he retreated to he was an assassin. reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, <laughs> though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. Mm -hmm. All of us try believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Then they would be quite disappointed to meet him, though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. The rest of them. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess. All selfish and ruthless to the core. Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Murjani, for instance, was always delightful. 
She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. Huh. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. Had eternity and just kicked your feet up. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievement. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her. I thought if she could experience it would bring some a heritage every bit as valuable as data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but she needed its shelter even more. Okay. Well, we heard that one. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Mm, that sounds slightly sinister. Where is silence? Oh, this is my room. Uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. I can do one of yours. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Don't mention it. Hmm. Yeah, silence is down here. This place smells wrong. Oh, it's Rogala. No sand or wind, only cold steel. And the others up there, your squad. They can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is a cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. Hmm. Uh, the rebellion against Akaro. The whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok, Jeroka, Makalo. And the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. It was too late. I found them. By the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh. How did Hakaro betray you? Hakaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red rays. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. 
There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when it came time to push on, Hakaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? The kind who wants peace for their people. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics in mind, so I stood by him, even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Fashav. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, Hikaro made him a marshal. Fashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like any Tanakh. It was an insult. No outlander can ever deserve to wear our armor, bear our marks. And then a Karja messenger was brought before us? That's when I knew. I had to run my blade through Hakaru and drag his treacherous corpse to the gates of the sun. Karja messenger. What happened when the Karja messenger appeared before Hikaru? The quivering priest bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Suddenly the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down. A true Danak would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But Akaro lapped up the priest's message. He showed himself a Karja loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was just another sign of his weakness. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid, with him on his knees before me. So with an army of soldiers and machines at my back, I returned. The day you got in my way. Mm, your deal was silence. The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement? was with the Asarama Sarah and her sons of Prometheus. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted an outlander? If it was a trick, I would have crushed her. But she spoke with the same burning hatred for the Karja. And she offered me the chance to run them down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. Damn, she cold-blooded. Your end of the deal. Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become a chief, these Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories. But because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> because of me. Hundreds of Tanakhs won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to betray you. Really? Uh. I failed to kill Hakaro. Failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain a savage cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screams of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury it. Okay. All right. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. <laughs> I'll let you know when it's time to move out. Even she's impressed. I said, if I'm gonna die, I might as well be alongside the flying badass, I guess. 
All right, but where is silence? Before I forget, I wanted those plants to be up there. I just know they meant a lot to you, and uh, I, well, silence, you up here? Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? Gotta talk to Silence and then talk to Aaron to see if he'll give us info on the sons of Prometheus for uh, for that basis. Huh? Oh, that's an exit. Of course. I don't know why I didn't check here first. All right, hold on. I gotta pee. I'm back. Yo. Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. You first. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? since you turned this into a waiting game and as it seems you have found modest success perhaps i'm willing to be generous mm. oh no uh Your plan. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zeniths from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question or are you still playing catch up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation. At the Hades Proving Lab. The Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. 
Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset, thereby keeping you out of harm's way and, more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Sons of Prometheus. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a Sarah to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades and the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans. All while remaining anonymous. Except to a Sarah. You and a Sarah. How did you get a Sarah to work for you? I knew there was an associate of the Oseram Tinker, Durval, who escaped his failed assault on Meridian. It was trivial to track her down and gain her cooperation. She wanted to succeed where Durval had failed. So you promised her Regala and the Tanakhth. The Sarah would help you create a machine writing army and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded in mutual self interest. You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. What's up with the weapon? Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. That doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes. Even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Regala. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakh. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. Quen. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And... Try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities. Well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. 
Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Damn, he got cooked. I am munching hard on these apples back here. I'm so sorry. Hey, yo. Aloy, you came back with some interesting friends. I wish I could say we don't need them, <laughs> but Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the Sons of Prometheus. Uh... I found out more about the Sons of Prometheus. They definitely have a base. It's a place called First Forge. We just have to find it. First Forge? All right, that's it then. I know where that is. You found one of them? A Sons of Prometheus operative? Hey, he was posing as a Delver, but my focus locked onto his. When he saw me coming, he ran. I caught up with him. He tried to crush his focus, but there was still data on it. A bunch of locations and coordinates. One of them was called First Forge. I didn't know what it meant till now. Nice job. Hmm. Ah, you know me. Ancient tech expert. Send me those coordinates, okay? Now hold on, Aloy. I'm coming with you. A Sarah is the last of a line of killers that murdered Ursa. I need to be there when she goes down. Of course. Send me the location and I'll call you when I'm close. All right then. Okay. Uh, farewell. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. All right. Now, hold on. I think I gather them somewhere else. <clears throat> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, there we go. The first forge. Oh, no, it's unknown. It is not known to me. Damn, if only I'd, I'd known it. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's where Aaron said we'd find Sarah's base. I should let him know I'm here. Hey, Aaron. I'm close to Asera's base. Think you can join me? On my way. So, you ready to take down some very nasty Asaram? First, we have to figure out a way in. Well, 
never get any noticed. Your armor. It's almost the same as theirs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Solid snake. Uh, hey guys. Keep up the good work. Who are you? I'm the guy who caught the Nora as Sarah's been looking for, that's who. Yeah, we don't know you. Huh. <coughs> <laughs> Nice. Well, that went well. We should do it more often. <laughs> Come on. Now that I'm, we need to find a Sarah and shut this place down. It won't be easy to avoid her people in here. But I got my hammer ready. Just stay low for now and follow my lead. You got it. See anything out there? Tired, standing around, that's all. I see two headshots. Oof. Hey, stay alert. Rations have been sparsely. Send a squad out hunting. I need this guy to walk back so I can take these two out. Okay. We must remain vigilant. That's finished him. See that. I don't think anyone heard that. We need to get further in. Hmm. to get my hands on a Thunderjaw's disc launcher. Shit, me too.
Over there. Stop talking, start searching. wasn't an accident. Get a search started! Next time. Next time we'll get you. Always best to check. Training these to knock with our gear is a bundle of joy, for sure. is our armor. Whoa. What? what? Why did he hear that, but not the other one? This could Another be a diversion. With the we should go back to our posts. Give it up. Get back to what we were doing. They must have run off. Stay alert in case they're Anyone out there? <gasps> Give up your blade or pay the price. Over here! I'll take her down. Good shot! It's a blood fog, doesn't it? I want their heads! Starting the search! Right away. I want her found! Where are you? Oh. 
I misjudged that. Not a ghost. Find her. How am I supposed to concentrate if you keep panicking? <laughs> Who's next? <gasps> Who are you? Here we go. Intruder! This is up. Oh, they weren't expecting that. Can't beat Azaram for Welds are in for it now. Are you coming over here? Looks like it. the hell They're here. Right oh whoops there. face my blade get down Oh my god. <laughs> we need to find a Sarah and shut this place down. I won't be easy to avoid her people in here. But I got my hammer ready. Just stay low for now and follow my lead. Hey Lord, you got see what For a noisy ant messy, but one out of two is not bad. Another day with its enough. Just great. I don't think anyone heard that. 
We need to get further in. The Tanats sure change their tune fast when it suits them. Did you... did you see that? Get out there and look. Any strange activity? Now's the time to call it out. You want to search? Let's search. I'm still suspicious. False alarm. Call it off. Search. Dead. Killers nearby. Am I? That's, I think that's a dead body. What for assassin? False alarm! I... <gasps> Who's there? Whoa! Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Phew. This one's dead. Didn't kill him. That's okay. I guess we scared them all. Get a grip, would you? Fitting to knocked with our gear. What's next? Ah! Is that movement? I saw something shifting. Go and check it then. Did anybody else see something? I didn't see anything.
Must have just been an animal. At ease. There can't have been anyone here. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Not here. What the hell? Oh, here. <laughs> Taste of this. No slacking! See Daisy. We're getting shot at. There's no one. Call it off. False alarm. Huh? I knew plan. it. <laughs> uh, oh not beer, uh, but it'll do. The Outlander's here. Give me your best. Uh, I want uh, you dead. Hit 
Watch this! Idiot meets hammer! I'll just leave it here then. Live long, kill your enemies. Alright, let's just go. Christ. Good job I stashed some berries, huh? Now I guess we're not going for stealth, man. Boy, you with the blood. There we go. I think that's all. But I don't see a Sarah. She has to be here somewhere. I think I saw some doors in the back. Let's check them out. What was that? It sounded like a trip wire. Be careful, Aloy. Sarah really likes her booby traps. And you still like the sound of your own voice, Aaron. Sarah. I was hoping you'd make it this far, Nora. Oh, I don't think so. It's about the bridge. We're gonna find a way through. It's a shame I'll have to choose. Hey, Aloy. All right, there's a draft here. It's gotta be another path. Too bad there's no way to get to it. Yeah, hold that thought. Oh? What you got? Yo. I can be handy once in a while. You okay? I will be when we catch a Sarah. Keep going. Now what are we supposed to do? I got this. Should have thought of that. Come on. What? 
trip wires. Thanks for the free shards. Yeah. If I need it, but I don't. What is that? Oh, you took your sweet time. We can't let you finish what Durval started, Asera. This ends here. Funny. I was about to say the same thing. The fuck is that? Oh, okay. What shall we do? Here we go. Shock? No. I'm not having it. Holding shots. Is that her? That's her? It is. One? Oh, is there? That was good. Oh. Damn. Oh my God, she got comboed. <laughs> That's done one. Maybe it's enough. All right. He got corner traps. Didn't think it would be that easy. Thought she'd have tougher machines out here. sister's death a sarah's little army that feels like the bloodshed never ends and the pain it causes i hope he's really over this time me too but you did good i'm serious we couldn't have stopped this without you well, i'm glad i could help for once i guess should we head back you go on ahead I'd like to take a look around first. Make sure Sarah didn't leave any more surprises behind. Okay. I'll see you later then. By the forge, I could use a drink. <laughs> Defeated a Sarah. Seven skill points. Not enough to go around. Hmm. Oh, they're all advanced, though. So they use, like, uh, the Toxic Sludge for their arrows, right? Yeah, 
No thanks. No, thank you. Should I guess? Right around the corner from the bulwark. They're just like, whoop. All right. That was like officially the last thing. Back to base. Restock, see if anyone's dialogue has been updated. And then it's on. For the final mission. I think this should be the final one. This feels like the final mission. Uh, no, silence is in here. Did you need something? Something else? Uh, no. Right. I'll be going. As you would. The base. Aloy, you think we can talk? Sure. Hey, I was hoping you'd show up. I have something for you. Uh. To commemorate our uh, mission. We did good together. Yeah, we did. The Zeniths. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. You're training. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Gatalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bolts trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. He's, he's probably riding high right now. Just took down a Sarah about to fight the Zeniths. Aaron's feeling it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his after everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. I need to get going. I'll be here. Okay. I th uh, if anyone, I would say Regala. Maybe, maybe not. What now? No? Okay. I need to be going. Yes. He kn All right. Uh, it's the Avengers Assemble moment. After I restock. One more last look at this pendant. Elizabeth and Tilda had a history. The more I learn about her life, the more complicated it seems. I guess she saw something good in Tilda. I don't know what exactly, but it seems like it was enough. For a while, at least. All right. I wonder if she will betray us.
Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? Nah. Nah, we took care of everything important. All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. Let's see the map. It's constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location, undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Mm. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Mm. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. Scores. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. Hmm? You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Oh. Right. <laughs> We get there until this has got a boat. I arrive at the rendezvous point, and then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? <sighs> All right, Avengers, prepare yourselves. You too. A minute. What's up? Oh, do they gotta know? We telling them? Nobody else? What's up? What's good? I know she's leaving too. Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Hmm. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. So the regulators was controlling like all the drones? Interesting. <sighs> okay, let me take a look at this notebook real quick. Oh, Sarah was the last person to buy. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, where was it? Where was it? There it is. The corrupt. We still have not seen this last machine. Oh, 
Hold on. What is this? That's right now. Is it? There we go. Weapon to the zenith base intact if we want to take their shields down. I'll be gentle with you, I promise. Good. Without it, there's no payback. Don't worry. Payback's all I think about. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a <laughs> bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. <laughs> Let's play strike right now. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. You just saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave it behind. You know, besides, it uh now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. He's all he's about the fashion. Laurel made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. And how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got around to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. Should we have a drink? Oh, Strike isn't there anymore, huh? You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't know if you're going to die after this, so yeah. Oh. I should probably get the drinks, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. How did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. You know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was going to appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. Mm. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. Now you have perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh, man. Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. <laughs> but Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? 
as perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ernest <laughs> said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. Damn. Uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. Okay. It's a plan. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. All right, farewell. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Zenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Everyone here... ...training, working together. If it weren't for Varl... ...none of it would have happened. You know... ...there was this one night... ...right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. Mm. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. <sighs> what I gotta do for all like that, man? You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music. But he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. Ah, she's gotten accustomed to it. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. Alright. Farewell. Sure. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. Hmm. What is it? You place this focus in my care. And gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. Okay. For the both of us. Oh God, so, that's right. Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay. I forgot she's pregnant. Oh my God, she's heading into battle, pregnant. Why are we doing this to her? <laughs> she's with a child. You're going to fight a war. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, Alva. Nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick in case they do. What exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Your training. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Yeah. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the board of overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Adara? Mm. Who 
Who's this Federa you mentioned? It's her sister, she right? Is oh, no. Another diviner. One of our best. Oh, and you really like her. We used to be rivals at the Academy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I hated her guts. But apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. We became Narusasu. And then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens. I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? <laughs> Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katala will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you both stay alive. We'll try and keep that in mind. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. At least one more companion will die on this mission. I'm sure of it. Uh, and I'm and I'm thinking, I'm like. It's either going to be Catalo or Arond. That's what I'm thinking. So, you return. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. What? Uh. Hmm. Sarah, proving love. Uh, you know Sarah? How did you get a Sarah to work? For I knew there was an associate of the Os Durval. It was trivial to track her down and gain her co-op. She wanted to succeed with... So you promised her Regala. Miss Sarah would help you create a machine-writing army and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded... You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. I'm done talking to you. Very well. Yeah. There you are. Would you like to continue our chat? Mm, no. I should be going. I'll be making fun. Was this here before? Okay, yeah. That's not new. Kotalo. Oh wait, Regala. Hold on. Where are the stairs? <laughs> oh, there's something down there. Yeah, hey, it's her, I guess. Here for more words, or is it time to strike? That's all for now. Leave then. Why was her shape differently? That was weird. All right. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank mm. you, Katalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together, and I am grateful too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm before we leave on our mission. Right. Now? I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. 
Oh, you're training? Now that training time is over, what's on your mind? The bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. Mm. I'm sure he'd be honored. Did Aaron tell you we found the people who gave Regala's rebels the power to override machines? He told me of the battle. I suggested he etch this victory on his fighting arm with one of our Inkers. Is he going to do it? He didn't say no. <laughs> All right, Aaron, get some ink. Okay, okay. I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. Hold on, is that like a thing? Let me see something here. It's not showing up, but. Step back to the tremor test site to test his new arm. Ah, uh, God, where was that? It was out here. No. Memorial Grove. And where did they go? I don't think it shows up as a Tremor Tusk site. Wait, unless it was, um, did we start from, no, no, we didn't start from the core root. Or the the bulwark. Oh, I'm so glad I got that campfire. <laughs> I'm so glad. Side quest took me out there. Hmm. We went to Memorial Grove. He sent us out to get the Tremor Tusk. I guess to fight it and those rebels. Hold on. Oh, can I talk to you again? What's, what's up with your charm? Did you need anything? I bet people are curious. None more than our Quinn. She couldn't wait to. I gave her the hoping. Good luck with that. I have to go. I will see you on the battle. Mm hmm. All right. I'll actually leave out of the. Oh, not that exit, though. This one. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Nothing for me? Good. I guess we'll just go here.
crap. There. Rendezvous point. I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. You're done, took care of everything. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, damn it. I wish I could. Set. Okay, you know what? Here's what we'll do. A break from the rain. Oh. Good. Pop a manual save. That is, we're at 89 hours. practicing my aim all right if you proceed past this point you'll be locked in the singularity and the open world will be unavailable for the duration of the quest but of course i'm ready oh then an extra confirmation <laughs> call your companions no way back all right okay everyone i'm at the rendezvous point it's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. <clears throat> Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. I wonder if uh, Tilda was listening in when I was talking to Olive and Katala. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Huh? <laughs> Not egghead. Are we all here? Then let's begin. Accounted for. What is she gonna do? Oh. A tunnel. Hmm. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? And I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base he's got his arm on he's ready Agreed. there's the launch tower that plane offers a little cover so the only viable path is through there there will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need cover and fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. 
Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Aloy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do. Shame resistance to shock. Plasma and acid. I have good plasma stuff now. Time you're ready. Damn it. It's here when you want it. Here we go. We never had an opportunity to be stealthy with vectors. I'm wondering, should I be? I'll follow you in. Wait, what is that? That did some damage. He did not like that one. Are we going to attack or what? I don't know about you, bro. I'm already attacking, so. trying to infiltrate oh okay i was like it's us hello Oh no, it's galloping. Oh, I forgot it does a uh, does a I think you're right. Find anything? Yeah. Ah, right, killing the specters was optional. Eh? <laughs> I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it.
What's in this backpack, metal bricks? Aloy. All that I are closing in on the regulator. Can we post it? I guess I'll find another way. Machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another Spectre. Sneak or fight. You choose. This will be over quicker if I use plasma ammo. Let's try to sneak. Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate stormbirds. But I guess uh yeah, dead ones handy enough. Now, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of the whole world. Oh yeah. Good times. Uh, more spectrum. I'll attack when you do. Or we can stealth past. Your choice. It's me to help keep it. Oh, there's three. Could use acid against it. Follow you in. I grab it if you need it. It's not fear, but it'll do. Don't walk this way. or what? Nah. This rock. Oof. Okay. Okay. I'm faster, Eloy. Right, We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'll try not to complain. Forward. Keep moving. 
out as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Hey. <laughs> Looks like the others have things under control. Ah, oh, they're fighting it. Okay. How many specters <gasps> do the Zeniths have? More than we want to fight at once, that's for sure. Hmm. I didn't hear that. How about this one? That was pretty loud. Almost got us. I think? I think we're just supposed to fight this one, maybe? Aaron, how the fuck? What are you doing? He's about to swing on it. Hey, Aaron beat his ass. <laughs> God damn. Give him the work. Okay, he's fighting back. <laughs> Get his ass errands. Fuck him up. Crackling with that red energy. Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Great. Uh, Aloy, I think we're in trouble. Oh. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. What is that? Yo, the slaughter spine! Two of them! Sick. Yo, she's just fabricating them. She's just making them. Thunderjaws, let's go!
Damn. Yo. Come on. Let's get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. That's pretty sick. I think one of the spectres was looking at us though. Grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. With the Apollo database. Hmm. I mean, I guess maybe that's possible. But like, how long will that take versus anyway, recapturing Hephaestus? In case we don't make it, I just have one regret. What is it? That we had to do all this climbing. <laughs> That a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. Uh, big rock? Oh, this, this big rock? Um. Weren't we down here? No. No, 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 no. Okay. I guess not all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, oh, because that would have made it nice and easy. Acid will eat right through that metal. And so Baldi are fighting another spectre up there. I think they can handle it. Oh, I gotta get in that grass. Oh. Oh, no, wait, we're using the where? Ow. Why? <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Did not see us. That was a close. No, of course not. through without a fight to the right I think and now to the left you can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead I'm heading over to join you now the hangar's in bad shape but I can see the way in Another Hurry, Aloy. oh shit okay Plasma, hit it with plasma. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go. Hey, oh, up here. What's up, silence? What's up, Zoe? Whoa! Look at all this zenith space stuff. <sighs> it's 
squad. Come on, let's go. <gasps> Specter. This way, demon. This is where Regala dies. Oh. Looks like I was right. Oh, damn. This is the death I was promised. Go. This is the death she was promised, Aloy. <laughs> we got to get out of here. May Regala return peacefully to the cycle. At least she died on her own terms, not as her puppet. Oblivion draws no such distinctions. That's cold. Are you sure you're not a Zenith? Aloy, it's been intense. A Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. Now, what are these doing here? Yeah. Hot damn. Yo. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Why is it? Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Bet. Face it. Your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No. Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up. Silence, please. Yeet. Are we supposed to be scared? Hold on. The calm before the storm. Shields are gone. Oh. Oh. It's over for them. <laughs> They're dead. We can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. Don't... Ready? Now don't make me fight the Slaughter Spine again. Am I fighting, like, the Slaughter Spine on, like, four specters, bro? Like, what's up? Yeah, I'm right in the data matrix. I'll stop Gerard. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Oh. We're okay. As long 
us all the hurries. I'm almost into the network. Just do the best you can. Okay, th that's what I was looking for. What is this? Okay, an elevator. Promising. Is Eric? It's time. It's time for the rematch. It's over. We got some unfinished business, little girl. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need a shield to take you out. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. Time to die. Oh, be on this. I can't let him catch me. Helmets off. It's go time. Come closer. Oh fuck. No. Ooh. He's probably weak to plasma. No? Eyes on fire? Bet. Oh my god. Hit me then. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh. That shouldn't have hit me. This is what I've been okay. training for. Uh. You're done for. Didn't have to end this way. I want to hit him with this combo so bad. Oh, here comes Zoe. Mm -hmm. Now we're having fun, right? So, uh, I'm not having fun anymore. Oh. Immortals, but you can still die. In time. Go. Rescue your sister. Hold on. Yeah, 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 eat Machines inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. 
restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. All right. I guess we climbing. Oh, I was just about to jump. Aaron, is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. I so told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Nemesis? Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alba? Alba! What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. She's okay. Oh god. Nemesis. Is that the last thing I have to scan? Oh gosh, she is trapped in. Hmm. Are you okay? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of. Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. What the fuck is that? Look, escape vectors. All but tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. It was whatever that is. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. Oh. Strahd. Damn. Okay, so what's up with you? I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? 
It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Mm? Or failed copies of them, anyway. Oh. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. Oh, my God. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. Why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. Jesus. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. What makes you think that? And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. <laughs> where that monstrosity could never find us. Oh, she down bad. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. That's why she was nice to Beta. Before me again. Not some inferior copy. Damn. But her best possible self. That's fucked up. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Spectre Prime. Take cover! Get to the door! Submit Aloy. You can't win. No! Oh, this is the last thing. Oh my god. I've heard that before. This specter was designed to survive against more than that. I better scan that thing first. What what are you weak to? Acid and plasma. Okay. Okay. Quit spinning. Oh no! Is that max damage? Hold on. Now it's max damage. Uh, I believe got. Oh, 
Whoa. I do not wish to mourn you. Oh, fast. Uh, I want to use a brace shot. Damn. Oh, I can't get over there fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Gotcha. Back to plasma. Execute attack pattern sigma. Not attack pattern sigma. Got a lot of good that, did you? I'll shut you down. There are no answers in death. What the fuck? What am I? Ugh. Elemental ammo is making a dent in those gold plates. Might as well use the advanced bombs. It's using those gold plates to power its attacks. Oh shit. Hello, did my plasma damage just wear off? What happened? I had a build up going. There's the explosion. Is she, uh, is she okay? She's not okay in there. The silence? Yeah. She tried to take you. Mm. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith's shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge to reach this place this moment And you couldn't just tell me Come now Aloy You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds When I learned of nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them and in that same moment I knew it was a game you would never play obviously that you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind, to seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database, and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, 
I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? I mean, he doesn't have anything here, really, that he's staying for. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Aloy. Hmm. I mean, he's making sense. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Okay, everybody survived. Goodbye, silence. Oh, for real? I don't know. She looks okay. She looks victorious. Oh, where's Beta? As always. Oh, there she is. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> as he's walking back. You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. <laughs> Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. Eh? So we're we just not gonna tell him about the about the impending <laughs> the impending doom. <laughs> we're just gonna celebrate it for right now. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. Wait, so do we have Hephaestus now or no? Oh, no, we don't. We don't. Because we let him out. It's about preserving the one we have. Yeah, I think the two missing are I'm Hephaestus and Apollo. Just spread the word and ask for help. Okay. Okay. We're gearing up. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. The people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity is that Varl? To solve any problem. Who are they burying there? Oh, Regala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regala. That makes sense. Okay. She like sent you on your way. Get out of here. And the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. 
this for the first time in my life. I feel like I'm not alone. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's pretty sick. This is a pretty tight credit sequence. <laughs> Matthias de Youngo? I don't I don't know, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say that. Oh, we're, uh, Misha Bias. We're like going from, uh, the, the, uh, the elevator that we took into the Forbidden West. I guess into the new map, not the Forbidden West. Man, that that was really good. Like holy shit. Like that I like the friends who made along the way. Uh I ain't gonna work on that combat design. Yeah. You need to give it a, a little bit more time. I don't know. I mean like I mean melee like specifically. Like range is fine. You can deal with slaughter spines pretty effectively. <gasps> you just gotta soak them. <laughs> just gotta soak them, that's it. The, uh, the enemy ahead, that's, that's going to be something. So, so this time there's no like, Ooh, there's no, like, I don't, like, there's no like human enemy to take down. It seems like it's just AI. Or actually, I don't know. Well, no, no, it's, it's not an AI. It's like a mass of different personalities and intelligences. All just sort of. Okay, wait, how did you do that? <laughs> I couldn't do that. But it's like a mass of different intelligences. So I guess... I, I guess that's uh, that's a pretty good, like, um, reason for, like, a reset? But... Hmm. Right? It, it's, it's a good reason to sort of, uh... Like, like, reset and why all these machines are, um... Why there's new machines, why, uh, the machines <clears throat> aren't under control, but, but the machines aren't under our control because we had to let loose Hephaestus again to, uh, fight the Spectres. Well, we can always get Hephaestus back. Find the path we lost. Damn, I wanna I wanna like pause <laughs> and see where we are on the map. 
But uh, no, I recognize this area. <clears throat> It's gonna be interesting. Man, <laughs> the villain down horrendous. That's what it was. She she was just like, I can make a new life with Elizabeth again because of the like the one I missed out on or whatever. Is it over? Ah oh, no. Oh right, I needed to come back here with the with the sun wing in order to get on these platforms. Totally forgot about them. But I don't think there's anything there. Also I was worried about running into another rock breaker in this area. Like it doesn't say it's a rock breaker site, but I mean oh, fucking. Oh, wow. I didn't even. <laughs> I'm getting in under five hours. I kind of wasn't expecting that, if I'm being honest. Uh, that close to last sequence with the uh, with the slaughter, <laughs> with the two slaughter spawns like tossing these specters around that's kind of crazy like i i, I can't believe like one of their uh one of the zenith's i guess engineers was like yeah specters bro check this shit out and like then the slaughter spine shows up and is like <laughs> Just throwing them around like a fucking football. It's like, damn, you should have made those. Why didn't you make those? <laughs> but now that Festus is loose again, uh, he's just he's just gonna cook up some more shit for us to fight. It was gonna be kind of crazy because like. There's already like a surplus of different, uh, like machine or uh, I guess like animal based machines to fight already. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what like the big boss ones are going to be. Cause we got like a mammoth in this one. We got like a, uh, I'm guessing the dreadwing is a bat. Like it's supposed to be a big bat. Right. And then, and we got the slaughter spine and the tide ripper as well. I 
a wide maw was new, but that's like a mid. It's like a mid size. It's not huge. The shell snapper. Yeah, big, big snapping turtle. I'm like, I wonder what they're going to draw from next. Like, I'm very curious. We've already got the T Rex with the Thunder Drop. I'm guessing the Slaughter Spine is like some other form of like a carnivorous big dino that I'm like, I think I know what you're like. If I saw it, I'd be like, oh, that's, that's what the Slaughter Spine is. And I kind of remember what it looks like, but I don't know the name of the thing. Now we got Tide River. If they're going to do underwater shit, there's definitely going to be like a shark. Or, no, no, probably not. I was thinking there might be a shark, but I'm like, are they going to do like underwater combat? And is that underwater combat going to feel good? Or is it going to feel like terrible? There's a storm bird over there. <laughs> Hey, hey, hold on, let's, let's not get too close now. Let's not get too close. You're getting too close. I guess he doesn't care. <laughs> the Stormbird's like, oh, I see you're going through the credits. I'll leave you alone. You're having the credits flight, so I'll, uh, I'll relax. Oh, the, the UI and UX design leads. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. I don't know that that's really funny given the, uh, the drama related with uh, Elden Ring and whatnot. But I'm wondering, I'm like, what? Uh... They, they introduced, I, I, I got, I got, yeah. How could I forget? They also introduced plow horns, the grim horns as well. That are like Triceratops. I was gonna say Triceratops, but then I was like, oh, the plow horns, yeah. You already got that. And then they got the fucking, the beefier version. There's the Grimhorn, which is like a uh, plow horn, but we put weapons on it. <laughs> plow horn, but it's got like a mine launcher or something. I forget what it was. But yeah, several weapons you can shoot off. Now I'm thinking. Uh Oh, well, the tall... Now that I think about it, the tall necks aren't giraffes <laughs> right they're not based off giraffes they're based off those big uh, long neck dinosaurs I, I forget what those are called I forget the name but it's those dinos with the long fucking neck and they they reach up real high to, to eat leaves off tall trees that's actually what they're based off of. The behemoth is a rhino. The ravenger is like the ravenger and the scorcher are like tigers, right? Uh, you got the frost claw and the, the fire claw and they're bears. You got the spikes now, which I'm pretty sure is like a skunk. I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. Like, like it sprays the thing from his tail. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a skunk. I'm trying to think. Uh, the only, <laughs> the one thing my mind is going to is like robot shark. I'm like, no, the underwater movement doesn't feel good, and with combat, it might be worse. <laughs> Even though I think Robot Shark is kind of a cool idea. But it's like you couldn't fight that on land. Or maybe you could. Maybe they could. Maybe they could have it so you could fight it on land. Who knows?
Maybe they'll add in. Thank you for playing. There it is. Maybe they'll add in a petable robot dog and someone will get real upset about it on Twitter. I'm trying to think. Oh, damn. Oh, the cast. Yeah, we didn't get any of them. My hands are full of Hello. Uh, Stimmer Matt Righty. Already. I don't know. Okay. I was like, I need to know who Stimmer's voice actor is. Holy God. <laughs> He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, yeah, I think they just modeled that off. He's old. <laughs> Matt Reddy is... He is old. Doing voice work since 1977? Oh. He's been doing voice work. Hold on, let me look at the... Age 47, he moved to LA with seven credits to his name, and as of 2022, he was 129. Born August 5th, give me a year. Give me a year. Same DP, let me look at Wikipedia. No age? No age. This is very incomplete. Huh. Hold on. We just type in age. He's 65. Oh. He looked like he sound like Stimmer. I'm still trying to think, like, what, uh, what animal, because, like, they got, got bristlebacks. I can't, I can't remember, I think bristlebacks are new. Because I want to say in Zero Dawn, there was, like, a different mount. Like, you had chargers, but then there was something else, too. I feel like I would have recalled seeing bristlebacks. Clamber jaws, so they oh yeah. Uh so there's clamber jaws which are like the monkey robots. In uh in whatever the third game is, there's gonna be like a fucking fight with a gorilla. Some sort of robot gorilla. Fucking Beast Wars. <laughs> for sure, for sure. They gotta be thinking about that, right? It's like the one thing missing. In, in, in a sense that it's, you know, missing, quote unquote, missing. So I'm like, damn, I can't believe I didn't fight a robot gorilla. <laughs> uh, no, a, um, a Ravenger? Might be like a tiger and the scorcher is like a wolf, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scorcher looks more wolf like, right? Because it has the ears, uh, or I guess supposed to look more like dog like. It has the ears like sticking up. So that's what that is. Uh, the scroungers. 
or the scrappers or whatever are like they're like wild dogs right like like dingoes maybe <laughs> not dingoes specifically like hyenas or you know something like that just sort of like a a, a canine a, like a wild canine animal uh and the burrowers are like weasels they're big robot weasels big as in like you would never see a weasel that size or maybe there is i don't know Yeah, you would never see a weasel that size. Unless someone watching this has uh, the world record for biggest weasel, you know. Ah, uh, so like, what well, we got? Weasels, we got... Are Chargers horses? They're like bulls or something, right? Because, like, they got horns. And I'm just like, one has horns. <laughs> like a bull or something, right? We got Glint Hawks, which aren't really hawk-like, I don't think so. I, I don't know, maybe they are in them. And I don't know what hawks look like. I'm not a big hawk guy. I'm trying to, like, do you think, you, do you think they'd go, well, so I was going to say something like, do you think they would go balls to the wall and start doing, like, uh, like mythical creatures, you know, like, like, uh, uh, like, do you think there would be like a dragon, like some sort of dragon robot to fight in, uh, the third game? But the Tide Ripper is based on like Loch Ness Monster, right? Oh, no, wait. No, no, there used to be like an old kind of, um, I'm, I'm probably going to get this wrong in like the Pale Paleolithic era. There did exist, like, creatures that look like that. And, and they were sea-bound. But you could, you could kind of prop them up like they did in the game. Uh... Hippos. I'm, I'm thinking about, like, stuff that's, like... That is sea, but can go on land. Hey, yo, what about a frog? What about a frog robot it's got it's got the tongue what's up big big bullfrog robot it's got a big sack that it inflates sometimes when it's about to hit you with like a like an air blast attack and you can shoot it to disable that it's strong against purge water but it it hates like electricity and and fire maybe too Yeah, get on that frog robot. We need it. Okay. Can't believe there's no frog robot. <laughs> so, okay. Gorilla robot, frog robot. That's two down. I'm trying to think like, damn, I just don't know a lot of dinosaurs, you know? <laughs> it's just not something I know. It's been unfortunate. I need to, I need to up my dinosaur knowledge, man. Gorilla frog. I'm about to <laughs> I'm about to do something dumb and just be like a uh, uh, list of animals. <laughs> just start going down the thing. Hmm. I guess you if you wanted to, if you thought it was a problem, you could uh you could sort of like even out the roster of uh, machines you fight by being like, well, what what machines like we've got a lot of land, but like we've got claw striders and you know, thunder, like a lot of land, like strictly on land machines. What about the sky? What do we have? Okay, 
So we have uh, the newly added Dreadwing. Uh, Sunwing is new. And from the last game, Glint Hawk and uh, uh, Stormbird. But like, I think that's it in flying enemies, right? This shit. Hey, you're getting kind of loud. Calm down. Okay. So if so if you really thought it was like an issue, you'd be like, "Oh, we need more air-based enemies. What do we what do we get?" Like, okay. Uh Now I'm thinking like birds. <laughs> and I'm like, "I I guess you could have something that like isn't the glint hawk and call it like, I don't know. Uh night crow or something or like or like shade crow or something and it's based off a crow specifically curse you jim ryan <laughs> oh oh god i thought that's a joe button for a sec it says john button <laughs> i was like joe button worked on this game <laughs> Shout out Joe Button. Had a hand in <laughs> creating Forbidden West. I don't know, like a parakeet. I'm trying to. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was I was just thinking about like birds, uh, not necessarily uh, like air based animals. And, and in my mind, I like I thought about like, what about an ostrich? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's on the land, but. I mean, that that is kind of something, though, right? Either an ostrich or like you know an emu, like kind of that family of of birds where they're flightless with the big bodies and the long necks and the and the long feet. Wait, is uh the wing burner might be an ostrich? I always looked at it as more of a like a chicken. Especially with like uh, the the sack that you blow up on it, it's like he's uh, like crowing, and he's like inhaling the air into his lungs to like crow out and alert uh, other machines that Aloy is here to fuck shit up. But no, I think I think the long leg is uh, just a a chicken. Otherwise, I think it would use its legs more in like direct ways. Like, instead of, like, hopping toward it, it would just, like, go to just kick her. Just, like, kick the shit out of her. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking, like, just, like, a straight kick. And I think it would use its face more as, like, a, as a weapon. I mean, but, hey, ostrich, you know, it's there. It's there. Hmm. Ostrich. I might I might have to I might have to Google list of animals. Ooh, you know what I just thought of? You know what I just thought about? Why not? make like bugs like just like big ass robot bugs i'm talking stag beetle i'm talking uh fucking hornet like yeah, there's potential there we kind of don't think of bugs as animals but i mean they are you know Uh, oh, excuse me. You could make like a like a cockroach, some sort of robot cockroach. They're on it. They're on it right now. A 
Oh yeah, the slither fang. How could I forget they added the slither fang too? So snake covered. Like like just general snake. That's covered. We got that. Hmm. I guess you could you could do like uh You you could maybe do like a sloth? Right? It would it'd be a weird fight because it's slow, but maybe it's maybe maybe like um Maybe it's like slow and just stays in one spot, but it has like, it has like mad cannons, right? So like, kind of, kind of, kind of a like slaughter spine, but like no movement, but like more cannons than slaughter spine even. And they're not elemental, right? Because like that, that's how that's how you would have to make it hard, right? In in some respect. Otherwise, you could just soak that thing and yeah, you know, it's over. Just shoot him up. <laughs> Keep him soaked and shoot him up. But I mean, I guess a sloth is an idea. <laughs> I'm just throwing him out there. Hmm. Not to say that we don't have uh like like uh ones based on lizards or whatever. Like there's the Slitherfang, but like I think that's it? Question mark. Like I think that's it. But like we in terms of like reptiles, you kinda got a lot to choose from. Remember when I said dragon earlier? Komodo dragon. But the Komodo dragon kinda is kinda looking shaped like a snap maw, so maybe that wouldn't be the best. But like, I don't know, some kind of lizard. Maybe uh I mean, you've already got like, what is it now? Two, two different, two different machines with stealth generators on them. If, if you just keep going and add like one per game, then you could throw in like a chameleon. You could definitely make like a big fucking chameleon. It whips the tongue at you. It tries to like command grab Aloy with its tail. <sighs> There's options. We got options. Of course, the gorilla again. I guess you could go in on like I I, I said something along the lines of like scrappers and scroungers might be uh like you know hyenas or some wild canine. I'm like you could make like an actual hyena and then just make it like make it like mid size like uh like I don't know like the the size of like a scorcher, right? It's also like a scorcher and like, you know, a, give it, give it characteristics in the way of like after attacks, you can hear it sort of make like, you know, a robotic hyena laugh or something like that. Hold on. This just in. What about fucking porcupines? That's got to be like a whole thing. <laughs> like a, like a porcupine duck. <laughs> I 
I'm, I'm just thinking about it. I'm kind of like, it's gonna, like, an attack it has is like, it shoots the quills out of its back, right? And, like, like at Aloy. And maybe they're, like, a timed explosives, too, on top of just being, like, spikes that it shoots out. Maybe they also explode. Maybe that... Because I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know, there's not really that much of a difference that's noticeable in the fight between, like, uh, uh, Apex machines and regular machines. So maybe in the third game, they give, like, Apex sort of, like, defining characteristics. Like, like, the fight is, like, different because they have different shit, right? Or, or, or their, their attacks they normally throw out work differently. Maybe with, like, Apex, uh, whatever this porcupine enemy is, the spikes explode instead. Maybe that could be a thing. <clears throat> oh, and also on uh, on the topic of bugs, not insects specifically, but bugs. And this this isn't like a you know this um this isn't like this isn't a, a great suggestion uh, in the way that people will be excited for it but i think it's a good suggestion in that i think the design of like a uh a horizon robotic spider would look really <laughs> cool and menacing of course it's gonna spit acid at you because it has to right but yeah i think that would be good like a spider specifically you know this game uses natural motion, morpheme, animation technology. Oh. Heard by FaceX, I think. <laughs> this is what it was. FaceX. <laughs> mm. Actually, I, th I was thinking I was about to... Uh... Whoa. 90%, okay. Congratulations on defeating the Far Zenith threat. You are now free to continue exploring and complete any unfinished quests and activities. You can also start a new game plus. Well, a new game plus start point in the base. Thank you for playing the Horizon team. The Hello? Huh? I'm not in any of those places. Hello? I'm not in plain song. Oh! It's a. Uh... <laughs> okay, I think it's like counting up all the places we flew in the credits. I think that's what's happening. Uh huh. Thornmarsh. Okay. The base. Okay. Maybe one day I'll head back to the sacred lands and see Sona again. Tell her what her son accomplished. And how brave he was. Mm. Oh. Nobody else is here. That's kind of eerie. What's up, Beta? I'm, up to. I'm getting a head start on looking for ways to temporarily stabilize the biosphere. We may not have a Festus, but I'm sure we can come up with something. But yeah, robot spider.
Spectre Prime. <laughs> Exoframe. You can morph into multiple forms while cold armor like plates can be devastating weapons and gravitationally reattached when torn off. Uh, multiple forms? I don't know about that. What? I don't remember taking any new forms. Talk to Gaia. Hello, Kayla. Welcome back, Gaia. Everything okay, Gaia? Yes, it is good to be home. Although my heuristic matrix will take some time to reinitialize, I must ensure that all Zenith code has been purged from my systems. Good idea. Take as long as you need. Hmm. Oh no, th uh, they're all gone because they're trying to like uh, rally the troops. Hey, Hephaestus revisited. So we unleashed Hephaestus onto the Zenith Prime Matrix to whip up an army of machines to fight the Spectres, and it worked great. But doing so meant we had to release Hef back into the wilds, where it would continue to be a major problem. Not so great. A little analysis last prognos uh, pro prognostician? Prognostication. Bad news first. Hef will undoubtedly retreat back to the Cauldron Network, and it will undoubtedly attempt to fulfill the same malignant mission it has pursued since gaining sentience. Protect the terraforming system from predation by manufacturing combat machines to kill human hunters. Even worse, it will probably be stronger than ever before. Contact with the Zenith Network will likely have supercharged it, giving it access to new technologies, tools, and upgrades. And because it can learn and rewrite itself, there's no way it will fall for the same trick that defeated it before. So recapturing it at Cauldron Gemini is a non-starter. But there are some silver linings. Even though the merge with Gaia was aborted, she was able to copy over some of the original Hef code base on top of that. Silence has extracted some extremely helpful data from the Zenith copy of Apollo. Combined, these developments should enable Gaia to exert significantly more influence over the terraforming system. She won't be able to take co direct control of the machines or stop Hef from building combat units, but she estimates that by deploying a variety of workarounds, she can stabilize the biosphere within a year. So we won't all die, at least not before Nemesis arrives. In addition, since she uh, now has some of Hefso's code, we, c we should be able to develop new strategies to contain it. It'll take time, of course. But round two is coming up, Hef, and next time. But round two is coming up, Hef. Next time, I'll be ready for you. Beta. Oh, yeah. She's, she's preparing herself mentally. The silence is in here. Did you need something? I'm surprised you're staying in the base. Thought you'd slink away to one of your workshops. The capabilities of this facility are adequate for now. Well, make yourself at home, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can trust them. Uh, you know. I guess. But no, there, everybody else is gone. They're rallying the troops. They're getting shit ready. Only one more thing to do. I didn't quite talk to everybody. We did it, Varl. We stopped the Zenith. We saved life on Earth. Well, for now, at least. There's 
Another threat coming. I don't know how we're gonna beat it. But... We'll face it together. All of us. Rest easy, my friend. I'll visit again when I can. Farewell. <sighs> okay. I think that's about as good an end as any. I remember when I said it was under five hours. I lied. It's 5.11. <laughs> okay. Oh. I wasn't sure how long the stream was going to be because I didn't know how long the finale was going to take. But, uh... And uh, how long the finale was going to take and the side stuff I had to do. But, uh, I mean, in, in comparison to the other streams, that was pretty quick. Uh, good. All right. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Uh, thank you, Lurkers. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, big shout outs to Buffer Crow for the follow and hanging out. And to Ditloa for hanging out. I always appreciate the company. I... I'm out of here. Uh, and until I stream again, I was never here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here.